We're Marie and Olivia. After two years of long distance, we decided to call it quits, drop everything, and move to Athens, Greece to explore our mutual love for adventure and travel. Come explore with us and see where we go next. are currently in the ancient Roman Athenian Agora, which is basically the marketplace. And it is, if I'm correct, it was built in 15 BC. Very, very old. Um, and it is said that a lot of it still has not been excavated yet. I mean, basically all of Athens. You ask, excavate. That's amazing. <laughs> there is. I wonder what's underground. Even in the metro has different things exhibits. It's ba the metros here are basically a museum. So if you don't want to pay for a museum, go take a metro ride. The public transportation system in Athens is amazing uh, and pretty affordable too. Very clean. I really like how there's no fumes. Everything is electric, so it's been really good. All right. Let's go see what's next. So the Metro is also like an underground museum. Important thing to note if you do not handle heat well do not come in August maybe not in July September will be the month for you because September will still be warm enough where you can go to the islands everything will still be open the, the sea will be really warm but you won't have this 100 degrees this is really difficult and this girl decides to come out and film on the hottest day of the week we gotta do what we gotta do so it is currently about 105 degrees with a bit of humidity but we're going strong she doesn't like me very much i want to go shopping Most of your meals, if you stay in a touristy area, 
you'll be whining and dining, very cheap whining by the way, and dining, next to the most ancient, one of the most ancient ruins in all of the world. It was built about 10 years ago, so this is one of the most modern museums in Greece, probably all of Europe, with a very unique selection of the marbles from Acropolis and other surrounding ancient ruins. Definitely worth the visit. It's going to be a good experience. potatoes in Greece taste like real potatoes. You can come to Greece and not have french fries. Try a lot of different ones. You won't be disappointed, especially from Pax Burger. I agree. The perfect balance of fried and soft and crispy. The bacon's amazing. The cheese is too soft. Is it too stretchy? Come here. Yama. These burgers taste unreal. They're just so good. You won't be disappointed. I think these burgers, along with another chain, three stores around Athens, are the best burgers I've ever had in my life. From the fries, a load of fries, to the burger, amazing. This burger has a brisket in there. Delicious. And some Greek ale. Delicious beer to wash this beauty down. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just a unreal experience. Come to Greece, eat a lot of food. You won't regret it. All right, hopefully you can hear us. The near impressions. So this burger, really, really good. You should definitely go. Pax Burgers. Now we're going to go across where there is the uh, Kumavis, but we're too full. And all we want to do is eat when we're in Greece. So we're walking around a little bit in 95 degree weather at like 8 p.m. at night. It's a heat wave, it's not as normally it's not normally that hot and uh, we'll do another mile and then since we'll we our faces. These are the Evzones, or commonly known as Choliades. They're a group of elite soldiers in the Greek army and it's considered a great honor to serve as one. They're seen as symbols of bravery and heroism for the Greek nation due to their actions during the Balkan Wars in 1912 as well as World War I and World War II. Nowadays, their missions are purely ceremonial, with the most popular daily ceremony guarding the monument of the unknown soldier, which is in front of the Greek parliament. And if you're lucky or patient enough to wait an hour or half an hour depending on the time of the year, you will see the whole ceremony of the changing of the guard. If you walk around the area, you will notice more posts, but the one over here is definitely the most impressive one. I grew 
grew up having the very traditional ones, which is not the food de bueno. It's the exact same dough, but with cinnamon and honey. And that's delicious. Let's see how this is. you've had so far? Water. I'm not even like a big sweets person. This is fantastic. That was amazing. On otherworldly. Yeah. I agree. And when you turn around, Green onion, green onion, parmesan creme, horseradish. I like the lime. I'm not getting much horseradish, so you may like it too. Hmm. Okay, because I want to try yours as well. <laughs> and for mine, I've got some creme with mushrooms, truffle oil, pepper. Wow. It tastes really fresh. I feel like this is better than a $25 pasta meal in a nice Italian restaurant in the US. It's really good. Seven euro, baby. Another morning in Athens, but it's only going to be the morning because today we're going to be going to southern Greece. We're going to be taking the bus. We're a little bit in a hurry because uh, we didn't plan properly. We're always running a little bit behind schedule. Um, so we're going to run, take the metro and head down to a very remote area of Greece, which uh, I'm very familiar with because I spent all my summers there. It's a little village outside of Sparta. So we're basically gonna be taking the bus to Sparta and then from there my family will be picking us up and taking us into the mountains. Let's go. All right, we just got out of the metro and now we have to look for a taxi and we have 10 minutes till our bus leaves. We still need to get the tickets and it's a very chaotic bus station. Wish us luck. 